Well, it turns out that the broadcast date is actually on 24th all along. Okay, I was kidding, but dude, man, I didn't expect them to reveal the new character in the Final Fantasy XIV fan festival. I mean, the character makes sense, but calm the freak on. You have to announce it like at 10 a.m. in Japan. I would just have awake by that time, and suddenly someone just tweeted to me that new character is revealed. But you know what? Whatever. The only thing I lost here is that I can't do like a live reaction to the character when they reveal. So. Yeah, still going to stream tomorrow broadcast though, because we still going to get more info in this broadcast anyway, for this character and everything else like new costume or so. But you know what, I got plenty of time before that happened. So let's do a little breakdown on this character and see how many things I got right. Because my god, even though I know jack crap about this character before, his moveset is freaking hype. So the new character is Xenos Yeah Kravis. I probably spell his name wrong in some way, but whatever, this is villain from MMO title, so this is natural. He is the main villain of Stormblood expansion of Final Fantasy XIV, aka the current expansion, until the Shadow Bringer come out. Also, he is that guy who do that Japanese sword dueling thing with Warrior of Light in the Shadow Bringer trailer. So yeah, let's just say he's a pretty current and new character even compared to Arden. A heavy armor wearing, beautiful long hair flowing, just stola abusing, samurai with three katanas, and whatever the hell this rotating barrel sword sheet or something. From what I heard out of all villains from Final Fantasy XIV, he seemed to be the most well loved. So I guess it's safe to say that he's a pretty good choice for Final Fantasy XIV rep. And I know many people want other more popular characters, but hey, it's the same case as Comronaut, man. MMO titles still need some representation, and this is a really good one. I mean, really, he's samurai, he's real tweed swords, and he do that anime his sussy thingy. How can he possibly be a bad character choice? Come on, man. Anyway, let's go to his moveset. So his his character class is Specialist, heck yeah we need more of those, and his moveset is a mix of Samurai job from 14 and his own ability from his boss fight. As a melee DPS job, of course he's going to be specialized in close range combat, but he still has some few projectiles in his arsenal, alongside some few gap closer moves. His neutral is a close range 4 hit combo attack, truly a very unique and revolutionary attack that's totally not similar to typical 3 hit combo in any way. Ok, jokes aside, this does make it better for team combo than typical 3 hit attack. His forward is a gap closer move, with some points for him to get 2 marksman projectile. For the arrow move, he also do 2 sword slash instead of 1. Not sure if it's the same case as neutral attack where it make it better for team combo, but I don't think it's really the case. Cause I'm pretty sure that 2 sword slash is in 1 input, so you can't really like pause the attack to make enemies still. And I guess that's pretty much all of his 4 basic attack he got. Now calm yourself, it doesn't mean he only have like 4 bravery attack, because from what I count he still have like 6 more of those. So he can have a total of 10 bravery attack, the same number as lightning, but obviously there's still going to be a condition for that. First off, let's go to his EX skill, which replicate the main gimmick of Samurai Job from 14. The name of that gimmick is Sen, spelled with an S apparently. You can hold the triangle button and Senos will do a samurai stand. Three color icons will appear in the same way as Shulk Monado art from Smash Brothers. And yeah, the way you activate the skill is pretty similar too. Each icon represents one of his Sen, and three of Senos katana also represent three of his Sen. So yeah, he pretty much have one color sword for each sand. A blue sand is storm, a green sand is swell, and the red one is sword. And by activating EX skill with different left analog input, he can use one of three different bravery attack. Art of the storm is a close range attack with a huge horizontal hitbox. Art of the Swell is a short mid-range attack, and Art of the Sword is a close-range dunking attack. This skill is kinda like playing a rock paper scissors with opponent, where you attack and hit if the enemy dodge in the wrong way, or you predict their dodge beforehand. The Storm can counter sidestep, the Swell can counter backstep, and the Sword can counter the attack or free fall. So yeah, this is a really goddamn cool EX skill, but we're not done yet. There's a lot more thing going on in this skill. Like how it doesn't have a traditional cooldown. Yeah, it doesn't matter how long you wait, this skill will not fill up at all. The only way to fill this EX skill gauge is to land your close range attack. With a full hit of neutral attack, you can fill this gauge really easily. Not only that, but after you use one of those skills, Senos will change his sword in hand to the one with the same color as the skill that he just used. And this sword in hand will change his dash attack into three different types of projectile. The Storm is a slow tracking projectile, the Swell is a sword slash projectile with a decent vertical hitbox, 
and the sword is a three small projectile. So using different kind of skill will change his long range option as well. And finally, there's still one big thing about this set. You may notice the tree icon above his health bar. This will show what kind of scent he's already have. You get this scent by landing its dedicated attack by the way. After you get all 3 scent, his skill will change to a powerful HP attack called Storm Swell Sword. Not sure if it has any additional property, the damage doesn't seem to be that high, but it looks cool as hell and it's freaking epic. And I guess that's all about his EX skill, holy crap that's taking too long. We still don't know much about his HP attack yet, one that was shown in the trailer is called Consent... Consentativity... Concentrativity. What the hell is this name? Um, don't know how it worked yet. It seemed to be an all-round AOE that he can charge maybe? And the explosion seemed to be delayed a bit? Yeah, i never seen this type of attack before. The other one we see in the demo in the fan fester is a tree sword slash that seemed to be pretty quick. Don't know its name yet though. And that's it for now for Senos Breakdown. Like I said, we're gonna see more info in tomorrow's broadcast, so we're gonna have a confirmation there. And after his arcade release, I will make his moveset video obviously. Also, he's come to NT in April 11 by the way. Like dude, that's hella fast for a DLC character update. So mark your character and ready to get his DLC that day. So yeah, I'll see you again in the actual broadcast stream. And of course, I will do a separate breakdown video on all the stuff that happened in the broadcast. So yeah, see you there. And have a good day, unlike your Stora.